Hi everybody. So in this video, we're going to talk about how to create this exact racing bar chart that you see on the video right now. This is a YouTube video that I uploaded and it's under the video description. So click on that link and you'll see it. And in this video, you can see that we are analyzing or showing the five countries in each region, Europe, Asia, with the highest suicidal rates per 100,000 people, uh, population of 100,000 people. So we're going to create this right now with Plotly, which is a software to create interactive um, uh, data visualizations, all in Python. All right. So the data we're going to use um, is right here. It's also in the link below. I would recommend opening all the links below in the in below the video description so it will be easier for you to follow. The code is also there. So click on the code, download it, put it into your Python I IDE, and and we can start looking at it together and doing this together. So this is the data that I'm going to use. Um, we'll look at the country. We'll look at the year, the suicide rate. This is, for example, 10 people out of uh, that commit suicide out of 100,000 people. Uh, that's the rate in Afghanistan, at least in 1990. This is a color uh, code that I added to the original data. Um, for each country, they have a different color code. And uh, the region, I, I uh, this I took from Wikipedia, and each um, country I put into the re their respective region. All right, let's see. Okay, so don't forget to click on the code, open the code, and this is what you should be doing first. First of all, we're going to import all the necessary libraries. All right, I'm using Plotly, and I'm going to use Plotly graph objects. In the next video, I might be using Plotly Express to do this animated um, racing bar chart. Um, then I'm going to do, I'm going to read the CSV, doc, CSV document into a pandas data frame. It's a lot easier to manage things with the data frame. Um, <clears throat> and then I'm going to create these, these two lists. I'm going to create di uh, dictionary keys from 1 to 28. I'm going to create the years from 1990 to 2017. Why? Because we're going to need them to um, create this dictionary that we, we want to create the frames. So um, down here below is where we actually create all the frames and actually the plot. But before that, I need a dictionary um, to help me do all this. So I'm going to create an empty dictionary and frame. And what we're going to do here, this is probably the most complicated part of the video, but if you get this, you'll get everything else. I'm going to say that for, for YD in years and dictionary keys, so I'm going to iterate over each one of these. So the first loop is going to go 1, 1990, 2, 1991, and so on and so on. I'm going to create a data frame. Okay, and I'm going to filter the data frame that we have, and I'm going to create a new one or a copy of it. So as you can see here, I'm, I'm, I'm telling the computer or, or the code to uh, go into the data frame and just give me the year Y, all the rows where the year is equal to Y, which is, in this case, Y years is the first iteration, the first uh, loop is 1990. So all rows of 1990 and the region Europe. I'm only going to create Europe for now. I know there's more regions in the video, but if you know how to do Europe, you'll know how, you'll know how to do the other things, the other regions, uh, the, the age, and the suicide rate by sex as well. All right, so we did Europe, we did the year. Now I'm going to do, I'm just going to set it as n largest because I just want five five top countries from the uh, five um, suicide rates. I don't want 10 or some regions have 20 countries, but I just want to show five bars. So I'm using the n largest method and I want to sort the values by year because it's, it's kind of upside down. So I just, if I sort it this way, now the uh, highest country will be on top and the second second as opposed to on the bottom. So now I have this copy of the data frame that's filtered. What I'm going to do I'm going to put, I'm going to create, remember this end frame dictionary. I'm going to say that for the first D, which is the dictionary key, which is one, for the key number one, or key one, is going to, we're going to enter the value data frame. So the key, one, the key called one is going to have the value data frame. And this data frame is the data frame that we just created which is all the rows that belong to countries from 1990 from region Europe. That's it. And then it goes into the second loop. And in the second loop, the key is going to be key two with a different data frame where, you probably guessed it, all the years are from the, all the countries with the year 1991 and the region Europe. So in other, in other words, I'm iterating uh, over the years from 1990 all the way to 2017. So now I have my dictionary. Let's actually see how this dictionary looks like. You always want to print the things before you actually plot them because it's a lot easier to 
um, see if you made a mistake or not. Let's see. All right. So these are the, um, uh, this is a printout. As you can see, the dictionary ends here and it starts with, let me actually make this bigger so it's clearer for you guys. Starts with number one right here. So we have the key one, and then the, the value of that key is a whole data frame with five countries of 1990, and so on and so on. Then we have key number two with a whole data frame of um, five countries from 1991 with their uh, respective uh, color code and obviously from the region Europe. All right, let's minimize this. Okay. Go back up here. All right, so now we have our dictionary, uh, which we can iterate over inside the plot. Okay, so here you actually, we're gonna use Plotly um, graph objects in order to create this animation. The first thing we wanna do, we wanna go into the figure, and the figure is gonna have three things, the data and the layout, which is pretty much like the first frame that you have to put in there in order to have something come up on the page with the button that we're gonna create. And then we're going to go into the frames. So from here, we're going to go into all the frames from 1990 all the way to 2017. So it can actually, with this for loop, it can actually loop through all these frames. But before we go into these frames, let's create the first um, uh, frame. <clears throat> so for the first frame, I'm just going to say I'm going to call the, the bar method. And I'm going to go into, um, I'm going to implement all, all the data in here. Now the data... We're, we'll go over this, but like I said, I would recommend, let me pause this. That was a different video. Okay, so you go into this uh, link that I put below the video and just go into bar. It talks about the graphs. And here's all the different um, data inputs that you can, parameters you can put in there. We're going to go into um, uh, X right here. We're going to go into the Y and we're going to go, we're going to use different parameters, but there's many different parameters that you can play around with. Know your documentation um, before you actually go into the code. It's really helpful. All right. So the X um, axis, we're going to, we're going to call the data frame and we're going to say, uh, <clears throat> sorry, the dictionary. And we're going to say, give me from value from key one. Remember, that's a data frame from 1990. Give me this column, column suicide rate. And then on the y-axis, in the same um, dictionary uh, key number, the first the first key, give me also uh, the country, so the country column. And I'm going to have the orientation be horizontal because I want it to be in horizontal bar chart and not uh, vertical. And then the text name, because I want to have text inside those bars. Um, so I want the text name to be uh, the, the suicide rate, uh, but I, I, want it, I want it to only be three digits because it's for some of them it's 86.20005. I just want it to be 86.2 and so on and so on. And it's going to be, the font is going to be 18. The position of the text is going to be right inside the bar and not outside of it. And uh, inside, it's going to be right in the middle inside the bar, but in the middle, not in the right. And the width of the bar is going to be 0 0.9. And this is, I need to assign the colors to the bar. So not all bars are the same color. And I'm taking it from the, again, the dictionary with the color code column. So this is all you need for the data. Then you're going to play around a little bit with the layout. The layout has um, here the x-axis. So we're going to say that the x-axis has a range of 0 to 60. What you really want to do when you're creating frames is to set um, your x-axis so it doesn't auto arrange true. You want to put this as auto arrange false and you want to set the axis according to what how long the bars are going to be. So I know that Greenland in, in Europe, Greenland, is up to like 80, but most of them are around 30. So I'm just going to put it around 60 so you can see you can see all bars. Um, same thing with uh, y-axis, it's between 0. minus 0. 0.5 to 5.5. And same thing, auto arrange is false. Like I, I chose a, a tick font, so it's 14. I want it a little bit bigger than usual. And here I'm changing also the title of the uh, y x axis. So just remember, always maintain, go into the y and x axis range and always set it to a certain range uh, because if not, the frames kind of the plot jumps over and doesn't look good. So this is very, very important. Then I have you have the title here. And then the last thing before we go into the frames is the button. So you want to add the button, and this is the way to add the button. You go into uh, the up, update menus um, parameter, and the, this is the type you put in there. And then the buttons, you're going to go in, in there a little bit. And this is play, 
uh, method is going to be animate. And then the args, you don't really need this, but this is, I put this in there to help you understand what it what it's really doing on the inside. The duration, the frame is a dictionary of, of uh, key, val key duration and value number. This means um, how long it's going to take before it jumps for a from one frame to the next. So in this case, I want the duration to be 11, uh, 1,000 milliseconds, which is one, one second. And the transition duration is how long it takes for the bars if they have to, if Greenland only goes under, under England or um, uh, Lithuania goes above Russia. If the bars change, it will take only one-fourth of a second. So you can play around with this. And the easing is usually for other plots, scatter plots or other things. But you will go into this website and it will tell you all about this and how you can play around with it. All right. So then I close this which is our layout. So we did the data, we did the layout. Now we're going to now we're going to go into the frames. We have the first image, the first right here. Let me actually update this. Okay. Let's see what we come up with. We should just have the first um, image there. There we go. So this is what we created. So we have this. We're not going to hit the play button yet, um, but this is what we created so far. So now for the play button to work, we actually need to add all the frames. So let me minimize this. And now we're adding the frames. So in essence, to add the frames, what you have to do is loop through the dictionary all the dictionary keys. So the first key was 1990. Then, the, then we have to go through the 1991, the second key, and so on and so on. So this is a list comprehension. This for loop is inside this list right here. And I'm saying that for the first frame, even though we already put the first frame up here above, we have to repeat that. So we're going to put the first frame here, and it's going to go all the way to the 28th frame, which is 2017. So I'm going to say iterate through the, the dictionary and just put the data, which is going to be very similar to the data we put here. We don't have to repeat everything. Just experiment. Um, so we're going to put the x-axis is going to be the value because that's how that's the value of that dictionary, and uh, and the column of that value is going to be the suicide rate, um, and then the y-axis we already know is going to be the the country column orientation horizontal. We want the the text to be the suicidal rate and the the color to repeat. We're going to the layout. Same thing like we did with above. If we change the range above, change the range here. Don't forget, Europe is between 0 to 60. Next, you'll go into Asia, or I think in the Excel sheet it's called Southeast Asia. I think it will be better to put like 0 to 40. It just looks better. So you can change that, that here and, and here. Don't forget that. Okay. Uh, I'll always put auto range false, so the, uh, so the range is set. And and same thing here. We're doing the same thing with uh, the y-axis. Uh, the title, I'm just making it change a little bit. So now it's suicide rates per country, and the year is going to change according to the frame. So if the year, the value year in this loop is 1990, it's going to say 1990. Next, it's going to say 1991, and so on and so on until 2017. And that is it. So now you're looping through the whole dictionary from uh, key one, meaning 1990, all the way to key. 28, meaning 2017, and that is creating a frame for each um, uh, plot that you're plotting. And then I'm showing the figure here, and this is the result. See? 1992, 1993, 94, 95, and it just moves uh, back and forth. You can even hover um, on, on all of them, um, and you can see the y-axis, the x-axis is from 0 to 60, the y-axis is from kind of minus 0 0.5 to uh, 5. That's why it's a bit, uh, there's a space here. And in the YouTube video, I actually added um, some, some text here uh, just with a, a video software called Active Presenter. Um, perfect. So this, this is it. This is Europe. Uh, try the same thing with Southeast Asia. Try the same thing with all the other regions in here in the Excel sheet, Eastern Mediterranean, Africa, and you should get at least five or six different regions of video if you want. You have the rest of the code here if you want to go into also sex suicide rates and age suicide rates. I don't think I'm using a dictionary there. I think I'm using something else, but it's, it's I think it's even more um, less complicated. And this is the uh, 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 suicide rates um, data for age and for sex. Perfect. So 
I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned a lot. If you found value in this video, please click the like button and subscribe to this channel so you'll be able to receive the next video next week about animations, uh, racing bar charts, uh, and different data visualizations in Python that you can create. A lot about Plotly and a lot about Dash by Plotly, which helps you create interactive data visualizations. All right, tip of the week. So my recommendation is take care of yourself. Uh, we know, I know how it is when there's a project you want to finish, there's a, um, uh, a Python uh, code uh, or a video animation that you want, you're just about to finish and you feel that's one line of code and you're done with it. Just, I mean, let it go. That's what we always tell ourselves and then we end up staying on the computer and staying on the computer and, and, and then you'll get burned out and you don't want that. <laughs> you don't want that. So take care of yourself. Make sure to take breaks. Make sure to stand up so you don't hurt your back. Don't sit more than one hour straight. Uh, eat eat healthy food. Eat vegetables, uh, nuts, um, fruits, even if it's just like, you know, once or twice a day in addition to all the other food that you eat. But make sure you, you do that because when I, when I do that, I notice the difference. Like I feel a lot healthier healthier and I feel I have a lot more energy when I eat healthy and try to exercise. I'm not that good at that. I don't exercise enough, but if you exercise at least a couple times a week, that's that's better than nothing. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, let me see if there's anything else. Next video will probably be on uh, CSS styling of, of Plotly, uh, or we might go into, you know, we'll probably do that. We'll go into CSS uh, styling Plotly. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, any clarifications, please write in the video below, write in the comments. I'll be happy to help. Have a good day.